Hi, I'm Andrew Skirka with Sierra Designs. And I'm Casey Sumnick, Product Manager for Sierra Designs. And in this video, we're going to explain how to properly size a flex capacitor backpack. The flex capacitor is available in two torso sizes. We have a small medium, we have a medium large, each of which provides a three inch torso length range. We also offer four different hip belt lengths, which allows you to really dial in the perfect fit. So to properly size yourself for a flex capacitor, you're going to need to take two measurements. One is you're going to need to measure your torso length, and the other is going to be the circumference around your hips. And this is best done if you have a partner and if you have a soft measuring tape such as this one. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to first measure torso length, and I want to point out that torso length, uh, don't assume that because you're tall or because you're short, you have a certain torso length. You could be uh, very tall but have a short torso. You could be on the shorter side but have a long torso. So make sure to measure yourself. And uh, just let's see who measure, who gets to measure here. Ready? Oh, is it best out of three? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. uh, okay, I totally. No, you killed me there too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you right. okay. out of three. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start by measuring torso length. In order to properly measure your torso length, we're going to start by having Andrew identify where his iliac crest is. And the iliac crest is really the top of the hip shelf. So he's identified that here. And what we're going to do is follow a line directly to the middle of the spine. And I have a couple pieces of tape here just to make it easier to see on camera. So that's our first point. And then what Andrew's going to do is he's going to lower his neck and we're looking for where his C7 is. And that's going to be the one that's, uh, that sticks out the most. So where Andrew's finger is there, I'm going to put a little piece of tape. And then I'm going to take my soft tape measure here, and I'm going to measure the, the distance between those two points. And we want it to be a straight line measurement. We're not following the contour of the back. So if I'm measuring from here to here, that puts Andrew's torso length at about 18 inches. So what you're going to want to do is consult the chart that's on our website that's going to tell you which um, torso length is going to be right for you. So if you're on the cusp between two sizes, sort of take note. Um, what I would recommend you do is measure yourself again to make sure that you're truly on the cusp. And then if you are on the cusp, uh, either size up or size down depending on other factors. So specifically, the larger pack is going to have longer shoulder straps and also the distance between the shoulder straps is going to be a little bit wider. So if you're more barrel chested, size up. If you're a leaner figure, then size down. The second measurement we're going to take is for the hip belt. A properly fitting hip belt should have about three to six inches of space between the ends of the foam. If it's more than six inches, you end up putting a lot of pressure on your pelvic bone. And if it's less than three inches, you end up um, maybe not having enough space to really tighten that hip belt and transfer the weight from your shoulders to your hips. Now I want to make an important distinction that where we're measuring, it's not at the waist, it's not your pant size, which are lower. It's a little bit higher, it's the wider, por wider part of the torso at the hips. And what's really key is just to make sure that that hip belt is wrapping around that iliac crest because that's the way the weight of the, the pack is going to be resting on your hips. So what we're going to do to uh, get that measurement is we're going to find my iliac crest, again top of the hip shelf. So I'm going to mark that here, Andrew's going to use the soft tape here to, to figure out what my measurement is. And Casey measures in at 31 and a half inches, which is very good for a guy with a 20 month old. Oh yeah. And at this point, Casey would go online and look to see where he fits on that sizing chart and order the size that he needs. If you're on the cusp between two sizes, my recommendation first is to measure yourself again to see if you really are on the cusp. And then if you are, size up or size down depending on sort of anticipated changes in your, in your hip measurement. So for example, if you're just about to start a through hike, then size down with the expectation that you're gonna lose some weight. If you are, say, just finishing up a marathon training cycle, then size up, figuring that you'll probably put some of that weight back on that you've just lost. If you have any questions about sizing, you can go ahead and contact Sierra Designs customer service or a local authorized Sierra Designs dealer, and they can help you out and make sure that the flex capacitor fits you perfectly.